What is God like? In answering that question, I'm going to take a moment to highlight an aspect of God's character that I find encouraging. That is, His goodness. The Bible teaches that God, the God who created everything, the God of reality, is good. What exactly does that mean? According to theologian Charles Ryrie, goodness may be defined as God's benevolent concern for his creatures. In other words, the God who created us loves us and wants the best for us. So how does God express his goodness? The Bible says in Psalm 145, the Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. The Apostle Paul gives us a little more detail. In a sermon recorded in the book of Acts, he explains, Nevertheless, he, that is God, did not leave himself without witness in that he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. In other words, the things we enjoy most in life, good food, good times with friends and family, and the order and regularity in nature that make all of those things possible, those are expressions of God's goodness to us. God loves us and wants the best for us. But, as with other aspects of God's character, such as His love, His justice, and His mercy, God's goodness is most fully and clearly expressed in the person of Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible explains that we are all sinners. We have all rebelled against the Creator who made us and loves us. It gets worse. Our sin has alienated us from God. In fact, as a result of our sin, our relationship with God has been fatally broken. But here's the thing. God didn't leave us hopeless. He didn't abandon us. He didn't wipe out earth to start over somewhere else. Instead, he came to save us. Jesus Christ, God in human flesh, came to earth to die in our place to bear the death penalty for our sin so that our relationship with God could be restored. In his letter to the Romans, the Apostle Paul put it this way, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. In one of the most famous verses in the Bible, Jesus himself explained the reason for his coming. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Not only did Jesus die for us, but three days later Jesus rose from the grave, conquering death and forever validating the truth of his claims. That's God's goodness on full display, dying in our place so we can be forgiven, restored, redeemed and given brand new life. And it's all freely available to anyone who wants it. All that God requires is that we repent, that is, be willing to turn from our sin and from trusting in our own goodness, and that instead we believe, that is, to place all of our trust in Jesus and the sacrifice He made for us. Two thousand years later, the cross of Jesus Christ remains the undeniable proof that God loves us, that God is good.